buttermilk crispy chicken? Let's find out. It's probably the best sandwich I've ever had. It's super crispy, but it's also really juicy. So would you guys come back? Yep. Yeah, well, yeah. definitely. Well, here's our car. The location is on the back. It's uh -huh. McDonald's. What? What? <laughs> what? Oh, get out of here. No way. <laughs> Wait, seriously? Try some buttermilk crispy chicken. It's right around the corner at McDonald's. Buttermilk? <laughs> well, good morning. Uh, back on WCOU uh, with Ask the Coach, Coach Jeff Griffith from Barron County High School. And uh, we'd like to remind you that after the program, uh, you'll be able to uh, go on WCOU and uh, check out uh, the podcast with Game Film. Uh, that will be airing live at WCOU, uh, watch WCOU.com, or you can go to WCOURadio.com and click the video link. And uh, we just we want to thank McDonald's uh, for sponsoring Ask the Coach podcast with Game Film each week. Uh, that is a it, it's great to go on there and, and not only hear uh, what the coach has to say about the game, but as as you go, you'll see clips of that game with Game Film, and and that just lets you kind of see what happened the night before, uh, just as we kind of recap. Uh, what went on uh, during that game. And Coach, just looking over some numbers uh, for the last two weeks kind of compiled, uh, we've rushed the football 74 times for 265 yards. Uh, we've thrown the ball 15 times for around 177 yards. And of course, I, those are not your stats. Those are stats that, that I get uh, from, uh, from up top. But uh, still, you know, they're pretty close. Uh, that's about five yards, of, uh, you know, uh, I, I, per play total offense, and that's pretty good numbers. Well, we're not disappointed with it. I think the thing that we're disappointed offensively is that we haven't finished drives when we've had opportunities to in the red zone. You know, I think we've had it in, in two games, we've had it in the red zone inside the 20-yard line there probably four, four or five times at least where we came away with no points. And, you know, as we go through our schedule and we start playing some of the better teams on our schedule, we can't leave those points out on the field. We've got to finish the drives and take care of the – Take care of the football and stick it in the end zone. Yeah. You, you know, really and truly, you take uh, the two games we've played, leaving those points on the field like it, you know, I mean, the, uh, taking nothing away from any opponent we've played. But, but we've probably, like you said, we've probably left, you know, somewhere – uh, the first game, we, we probably left at least two touchdowns, maybe three on the field. We definitely left two touchdowns on the field last night. Uh, so, you, you know, you, you put those numbers on the board. You know, you, you've got a little more room to wiggle there and, and bring some guys in maybe that, that's not seen a lot of playing time to get them some varsity experience. Well, that's true, and it certainly would make my life a lot easier on the <laughs> sideline if we could get a little, get a little cushion over there where we don't have, you know, every every snap and every play, you're, you're just on bated breath there a little bit. But – you know, we'll get better at it. We'll continue to talk about it and work at it. I, you know, I thought we did things better this week than we did in the first week. And, you know, we'll continue to get better. Again, you know, while a lot of our guys have played played a lot of football the last couple of years, the guys that are juniors and seniors, you know, it is new schemes on both sides of the football that they're still getting used to and how we're doing it. I'm pleased with how, we, how we've come along in those schemes. But, you know, I think that's where we, you know, we get bogged down sometimes in, in the red zone because the other deep team, you know, give the other teams deep defense is credit too I mean they they bow their neck up there and and keep us out and and do things that uh you know that are giving us trouble and we've got to fix those things sure well let's let's look ahead a little bit to next week uh, we've got our first home game uh, we'll come back to Trojan Stadium this week and uh you know Glasgow will come across town over to Trojan Field and uh with a, a pretty good Glasgow team I mean they they like to spread the ball out uh, they, their offense, they like to come to the line and get it going, run, run the hurry up. And uh, so talk a little bit about uh, about next week, Coach. Well, you know, they've got a new coach, but he's been there for several years, and he's a Glasgow grad and Jeff Garman. And I've known Garm for many years, going back to when he was at Corbin <clears throat> and I was at Wayne County. And great football coach and great defensive mind. And, you know, they're going through a little bit of the same stuff that we are in terms of that they've changed their entire scheme offensively. So, you know, they're going through a little bit of some growing pains as well on that side. But, you know, the thing with them, they've, they're they young, obviously. Everyone, that's been well documented in the preseason how young they are and not, not many seniors. But, you know, they've got – some good skill people and a quarterback that started 11 or 12 games last year. So they've got quite a bit of experience, even though they've got, you know, the, 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 
they're young guys, but you know they've played quite a bit of football, and and uh, you know I'm excited about it. It'll be my first Glasgow Baron game, so hopefully we can uh, have a big crowd and beautiful night and have a good football game. Yeah, you know that that's been a good thing. That one thing the last two weeks, you know we've played early, uh, and when you have that that five o'clock five thirty game, and that sun's out. You know, it's still it's still pretty hot. And, uh, you know, I know you said after the Metcalf game, you said we we're going to have to get in and try to get some conditioning done. And uh, But, we, you know, we still had some boys that was cramping last night. And, and uh, you know, the guys that were, uh, most of them were guys that was on both sides of the football. And uh, that, that's just hard to do. That takes a lot out of your guys. And uh, then when you, you go play a, a team like the Glasgow team that we're going to play, and like you said, they, they've got a lot of athletes. I mean, those boys are at skill position. They're in a they're in a fine shape, and uh, so you know it's going to come at you fast, and and we're just going to have to be ready to face that. Well, you know, we can't get into a shootout with them, so to speak. I mean, we, we got to make it our style of game, you know, a grind it out type game, and and not get and when they score and move the football on us, it's got to be you know we can't give up big plays, and that's the way we've got to be against anybody. This just isn't a Glasgow thing. I mean, any team that we play, you know, and, and you know I, that everybody probably says the same things, but nobody wants to give up big plays. But especially for us, we you know we got to keep the ball in front of us and and limit the big plays when the other team's big plays need to be ten yard gains, not sixty yard touchdowns. And, you know, as long as we'll do that throughout the year, no matter who we're playing, I, I like our chances of being successful. Yeah, I, and, and I tell you, I, I, I like the style of ball that we're playing. Uh, you know, I, I like I like seeing what the defense can do. I, I've always been – I've always liked the defense side of the ball. Uh, you know, they always said that, you know, offense wins games, but defense wins championships. And, and any time that you see a, a team that's strong, uh, not only can they put points on the board, but their defense can play lights out. Well, it's kind of like in, in baseball, people talk about, you know, everybody can hit, but when you get to the postseason in baseball, everybody's got good pitchers, and pitching all good pitching always beats good hitting. And, and when you play against the better teams in the state and the better teams we'll face on our schedule, the ones that play good defense are, the you know, the reason they're really good teams is because of their defense. And, of course, I've been a defensive coach all my coaching career for the most part, and uh, – so, you know, that's what we're going to hang our hat on, hopefully, and we're going to try to play good defense and get to the football and and uh, be a good tackling team. Well, Coach, we appreciate you coming in this morning. Uh, you know, I want to say one thing. We, we've got a few kids that's out and hurt, uh, but, you know, one, one kid that uh, that I, I just I, – I love to see back down there on the sideline is Gunner Eaton. Uh, you know, Gunner has, has been through uh, the meal, per se, over the last few months, and – and uh, man, I tell you what, I know a lot of folks that's prayed a lot for Gunner, and and just to be able to see him out there on the sideline, and and uh, you know we don't know what the rest of the season is going to bring. I know Gunner's heart would be to get back on the field, and and we're going to hope that happens. And uh, but it's just good to see him back out there walking along the sideline. It really is. He's a true inspiration to all of us, and, and his fight and attitude is unbelievable. Uh, you know what a great young man with that uh it, it you know and our goal was to get gunner back on the field by the end of the year and i know that's his goal and and right now it looks like we're on pace to do that you know hopefully here in the next month four or five weeks or so but you know he's done a great job he's out there uh, working and kicking and trying to stay in shape as best he can right now and and hopefully we're going to uh, get him back on the field here soon well, we're we're looking forward to that and uh and we hope over the next couple of weeks we get to see some other guys back on the field that's been out and uh, but uh, coach it's been great to be with you this morning uh, folks come out Friday night over to Trojan Field at 7 o'clock as the uh, Barron County Trojans take on the uh, Crosstown uh, Glasgow Scotties and as always uh, after the, uh, the coaches show today uh, you go on WCLU uh, watch WCLU.com or WCLURadio.com and just click the video link and uh, check out the McDonald's Ask the Coach podcast with Game Film and uh, until next week uh, we'll we'll see you then thanks <laughs>